Oh, way. My mind wanders back and forth between the four girls. Sayori, Natsuki, Yuri, and of course, Monica. Perhaps I'll have the chance to grow closer to one of these girls. Why not all of them? What are you? Wimp? Two inches? Home video recorder is taping it right now. Terrific. Watch. Terrific. But suppose it's over three hours. Relax. Panasonic VHS tapes up to four hours of sports, movie specials on one cassette. Wow. This VHS is for me. <laughs> the whole game. Best catch of the day. Yeah. VHS, the four hour system from Panasonic and other leading companies. I'll just need to make sure make the most of my circumstances. I'm sure good fortune will find me. I guess that starts with writing a poem tonight. It's time to write a poem. Pick words you think your favorite club member will like. Something good might happen with whoever likes the poem most. Uh, let's go with comfort. Well, I'm back at the cringe club. Thanks for keeping your promise, Cringe. I hope this isn't too overwhelming for, of a commitment for you. It is. This took a lot out of me. I, I was about to die. Making you dive headfirst into literature when you're not accustomed to it. Oh, come on. Like he deserves any slack. Let me breathe! Sari told me you didn't even want to join any clubs this year. And she was right. And last year, too. Also correct. I don't know if you plan to just come here and hang out or what, but if you don't take us seriously, then you won't see the end of it. Natsuki, you certainly have a big mouth for someone who keeps her manga collection in the club room. She finds herself stuck between saying Monica and manga. Just, just put it in your phone. What are you doing? Weeb. Manga's literature! Is it? I think it's about time we share today's poems with each one, with each other. We might not have enough time if we, if we wait too long. By the way, do you, did you remember to write a poem last night? Yeah. Well, now that everyone's ready, why don't you find someone to share with? I can't wait! Sayori and Monica enth enthusiastically pull out their poems. Sayori's is on a wrinkled sheet of loose leaf torn from a spiral notebook. On the other hand, Monica wrote hers in a composition no uh, notebook. I can already see Monica's pristine handwriting from where I sit. Natsuki and Yuri reluctantly comply as well, reaching into their bags. I did the same myself. Whoop. Uh, I'm gonna go with the... The game crashed. The game legitimately crashed. <laughs> it does that? The game crashed. I wanted to, I'm never going to read my poem. Yuri. Ghost under the light. The tendrils of my hair illuminate beneath the amber glow. Bathing. It must be this one. The last remaining streetlight to have withstood the test of time. The last yet to be replaced by the sickening blue-green hue of the future. I bathe, calm, breathing air of the present, but living in the past. The light flickers. I flicker back. God, I hate tracking when you read stuff. <laughs> I'm sorry, I have such terrible handwriting. I mean, I could read it, so it's not that terrible. But I wasn't th thinking that at all. But it took you a long time to read. 
I just started reading like like yesterday. Give me some breathing room. I just don't read script very often. I actually think your handwriting is pretty. Eh? That's a relief. That's why I like the poem. Even though it's short, it's, a, it's really descriptive. It wasn't too short. I usually write longer poems. Nope. It's actually too short. Throw it. Start right back up. Whew. I guess that's everyone. I glance around the room. As if everyone's judging me for my mediocre writing abilities. Across the room, Loser and Monica are happily chatting. My eyes land on Yuri and Natsuki. They gingerly exchange sheets of paper, sharing their respective poems. As they read in tandem, I watch each of their expression expressions change. Natsuki's eyebrows furrow in frustration. Meanwhile, Yuri smiles sadly. What's with this language? Eh? Did you say something? Oh, it's nothing. Natsuki dismissively returns the poem to the desk. I guess you could say it's fancy. Ah, thanks. Yours is... Cute. Cute? Did you completely miss the symbolism or something? It's clearly about feelings of giving up. How can that be cute? I know that. I just meant the language, I guess. I was trying to say something nice. Eh? You mean you have to try that hard to come up with something nice to say? Things, but it really didn't come out nice at all. That's like he stands up suddenly. Oh? I didn't realize you were so invested in trying to press our new member, Yuri. Yuri stands up as well. You're just jealous that Cringe appreciates my advice more than he appreciated yours. And how do you know he didn't appreciate my advice more? Are you that full of yourself? I... No. If I was full of myself, she, she'd be bigger here, let's say. She'd be bigger here. That's the key, that's a little... This doesn't involve you. I, I don't like fighting, guys. Suddenly both girls turns toward turn towards me as if they just noticed I was standing there. Cringe! She, she's trying to make me look bad. That's not true. What's the reason I'm making your poems all convoluted for no reason? The meaning should jump out at, at the reader, not force them to have to figure out. There's a reason we have so many deep and expressive words in our language. It's the only way to convey com complex feelings and meaning the most effectively. Avoiding them is not only not necessarily limiting yourself, it's also a waste. You understand that, right, Cringe? Um, but whomever I agree with, they'll probably think more highly of me. That's the key. You're right, that I liked your poem. See? Wait. That's not an excuse for you to be so mean. You shouldn't pick a fight just because someone's opinion is different. That's not what happened at all. Yuri wouldn't have taken my poem seriously. I understand. Yuri, eh? You're a seriously talented writer. It's no secret that I was impressed. Well, that's... But here's the thing. No matter how simple or refined someone's writing style is, they're still putting feelings into it, and it becomes something really personal. That's why Natsuki felt threatened when you said her poem was cute. I see. I didn't notice that. I'm sorry. But Natsuki, you took it, you took it way too far. Yuri means well, and if you just told her how you felt, then this wouldn't have happened in the first place. Are you kidding? That's exactly what I did. It was her that... That's enough. You both said some things you didn't mean. You apologize. Don't you think you should too? She's trapped at this point, being defined only because she can't handle the pressure. I end up feeling bad for her. Maybe. I mean, I, don't, I practically don't care about her, so... Sometimes when I'm hurt, it helps to take a week, a walk, and clear my head. Siri, loser! She doesn't need to! It'll spare me from having a, to look at all your faces right now. Without warning, she snatches her own poem from the desk and storms out. 
On her way out, she crumples up the poem with her hands and throws it in the trash. Boom.